Hi, welcome to this Corp Maths video on perimeter. In this video, we're going to look at what perimeter is and how to find the perimeter of lots of different shapes. So first of all, what is perimeter? The perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. So here we've got a rectangle. The perimeter would be the distance around the outside of the shape. So if I wanted to find the perimeter of this rectangle, like the question tells us to do, what I'm going to do first of all is to write down any missing sides, just to make sure that I include them whenever I'm adding up the distance around the outside of the shape. So we've got the top of the rectangle is 9 centimetres. That means the bottom of the rectangle will also be 9 centimetres. And we've got the right hand side of the rectangle is 3 centimetres. So that means the, the left hand side of the rectangle will have a length of 3 centimetres. So let's work out the distance around the outside of this rectangle. So that would be found by doing 9 plus 3 plus 9 plus 3. And that brings us back to where we started. So it's going to be 9 plus 3 plus 9 plus 3. And let's work out what that is. So 9 plus 3 is 12, plus 9 is 21, plus 3 is 24. So the perimeter of the shape is 24, and because it's been measured in centimetres, we need to make sure we put the units on the end, so that will be centimetres. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 24 centimetres. Okay, our next shape. So our next question says, work out the perimeter of this square. So again, the perimeter of our square is found by working out the distance around the outside of the square. So let's write down what the missing measurements are. So if the top of the square is 7 metres, all sides of the square have got the same length, that means that the right-hand side will be 7 metres, the bottom will be 7 metres, and the left will be 7 metres. So we just need to add up those four sevens, and that will tell us the perimeter of a square. So 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. And 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 7 is 21, plus 7 is 28 metres. We could have just multiplied the one side, the 7, by 4, because it's got 4 sides, and done 4 times 7, which is 28 also. Okay, so the perimeter of the square is 28 metres. Okay, our next question. Our next question then says, work out the perimeter of this regular hexagon. So we've got this hexagon, and it says the word regular. Regular means that all the sides are the same length, and that all the angles are the same size also. So because the top has got a length of 5 centimetres, that means that all the sides of this regular hexagon have got a length of 5 centimetres. And that means to work out the perimeter of this hexagon, we could add up the six fives and do five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five. And um, this time I'm just going to do six times five because there are six sides and they're all five centimeters long. So I'm just going to do six times five and six times five is equal to 30 centimeters. I could have done five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five and that would also have given me 30 centimeters. Okay, next question. This time we've got an L shape and we've been asked to work out the perimeter and the perimeter remember is just the distance around the outside. So if we started here at the top we would go along here, down there, across, down, across and up. And we just add up those measurements and that would tell us the perimeter of the shape. So first of all what I would say is whenever you've got a shape like this again make sure you've got the lengths of the missing sides. So what I'm going to do first of all is look at the length along the bottom here. So at the top we've got 5 centimetres and then we've also got 7 centimetres. So that means the whole length of the bottom will be 5 plus 7, and 5 plus 7 is 12. So this length is 12 centimetres. Next, we've got this length here, and we've got the whole height of the shape is 10 centimetres, and this bit is 6 centimetres. So this length plus 6 is going to be 10, so this length here will have to be 4 centimetres. Now, if we want to work out the perimeter of the shape, what we're going to do is just add up the lengths of those sides, and that will tell us the perimeter. So we're going to do 5 plus 4 plus 7 plus 6 plus 12, plus 10. And we could line it up actually in a column, so we could actually do it this way. So we could do 12, 10, 7, 6, 5, and 4. I'm just going to check we've got them all there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we can just add them up. So 2 plus 7 is 9, plus 6 is 15, plus 5 is 20, plus 4 is 24. So put the 4 down, carry the 2. 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4. So the perimeter of the shape is 44 centimetres. So if you ask to work out the perimeter of a shape like this, again, make sure you find the missing sides first of all, and then just add them all up to get the perimeter. Okay, our next question. This time we've been given the perimeter of the rectangle, so we've told that the perimeter of this rectangle is 24 centimetres, and the question says find the length of y, and y is the width of the rectangle here. So it's the length of the distance from here to here, this length. Okay, so we know the perimeter of this rectangle is 24. Now, we know the height of it is 7, so what I'm actually going to do is put 7 centimetres here on the other side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the 7 and the 7 together to see what that will give me. So 7 plus 7 is equal to 14. 
So that means that these two sides add together to give me 14, and the whole thing adds together to give me 24. So I'm gonna now take away the 14 from the 24 to see what's left for the top and the bottom. So 24 take away 14 is equal to 10 centimeters. That means the top and the bottom have got a combined length of 10 centimeters. Whenever you add together the length of the top and the bottom, it has to be 10. Now, because they're both the same length, we're just gonna half the 10. We're gonna take 10 divided by two, and that's equal to five. So that means the length of the top, this y, is equal to five centimeters, and the bottom is equal to five centimeters. And let's just check our answer. Five plus seven is 12, plus five is 17, plus seven is 24. So the whole perimeter of that rectangle is 24 centimeters, and the question asked for the length of y, and that is equal to five centimeters. Okay, and our last question. Our last question says, the perimeter of this equilateral triangle is 36 centimeters. Find the length of each side. Now this is an equilateral triangle. That means that each of the length, or each of the sides have got the same length. So this side, this side, and this side have got the same length. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our 36 and divide it by three. We're gonna share that equally by three. We're gonna divide it by three to get the length of each side. So 36 divided by three, if you know your 12 times tables, so that's equal to 12 centimeters. So that means the length of each side is equal to 12 centimeters. So 12, 12, and 12, and we can test it out. 12 plus 12 is 24, plus 12 is 36. And that's it.